You know, we heard many people they are speaking about such a topic, which is called Islamophobia. And, you know, I don't know really why we keep hearing this all over, especially from those who call themselves liberals. You know, liberals, uh, I don't want to say with my respect to you, you guys are a bunch of idiots. Uh, you know what? Bunch of fool. Uh, even that is not really too much uh, will describe you. You know, how somebody is a liberal can ever be smart. I don't know if those people, they have a problem if their brain is functioning correctly. Why the one who speak about Islam is Islamophobia? Like, do we have reasons or there is no reasons? You know, let us, let us give you a little bit of uh, uh, points. So if you are a liberal listening to me, I, I'm, not, I'm not talking to the Muslims, by the way. The Muslims is a different case. Anyway, they hate us. If you are a liberal or a Christian or an atheist or a Jewish or a Hindu, it doesn't matter. So forget about the Muslims for now. I want to speak to those idiots who keep saying Islamophobia. You know, I have a hadith in front of me. This is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is Muhammad himself is talking. He is saying, the Prophet said, if they were not Bani Israel, which means there is no, ch no, no, there's no children of Israel. Bani means the children. If there is no Jewish, meat will not decay, you know, meat will not damage. So why, why the meat damage? Because of the Jewish. We did not hear anyone saying the Muslims have Jewish phobia. Even the beef damaged because of the Jewish? Oh, come on. You cannot say Jewish phobia. Everybody had the right to hate the Jewish, right? It's okay to hate the Jewish. Come on. But if you say to the Muslims, why your prophet saying that? They will accuse you of Islamophobia. Yeah, you cannot do that. You wanna, you want, are you, are you crazy? You wanna say to the Muslims, your prophet is an idiot. If you do that, you're insulting the prophet, and you have Islamophobia. The prophet in here is not teaching any hate. Hello, he is just saying that the reason that beef is damaging is not bacteria. For the real bacteria are the Jewish. That's what he's saying. That's all. This is not discrimination. This is not hate. If you say this is hate, they will accuse you of Islamophobia. Well, I would choose to say this is extremely hateful and disgusting. Or you know what? If we go to different hadith, and this is in Sahih al-Bukhari, which is a very true hadith, it says, in book 52, hadith number 176, book 152, hadith number 177, that time will come and Muslims will fight with a Jewish. And if there is a Jew, he hide behind a tree or a rock. The tree, imagine even the tree hit the Jewish man. The rock, the rock will scream and will say, hey, Hey, Abdul, there's a, there's a Jewish here, 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 behind me, here, here. Look, look, he's here. Kill him. If you say to the Muslims, your prophet is teaching hate, you are Islamophobia. Yeah, the Muslims, they have the right to say that. You cannot touch their prophet. You cannot say he is an idiot. You cannot say he is a hateful. You cannot say that because if you do... They will accuse you of Islamophobia. And you don't want to be accused of that. You will lose your job. You know, this, this guy, his name is Jawan. He is a liberal. And they kicked him out of his work. For he, he said something is very true. But they accuse him with Islamophobia. So it's okay to say, kill the Jewish, hate the Jewish. But it's not okay to say this is wrong. What's happening in this world today? Ah, you know what? These, you know, the world today, everybody hating the Jewish, so it's okay, maybe we accept it, huh? What a filthy people if you do. What a hypocrite you are. Why it's okay to see such a thing and you say 
nothing wrong with that the prophet of islam he is right he can say whatever nobody can touch him nobody can say anything against him if you do you're islamophobia you know what if this is islamophobia i am islamophobia 100 percent for the man who is teaching hate that hate against the jewish he is not only a phobia he is a maniac he is sick and look he is talking about Jewish. He never met those Jewish is going to be in the judgment day. Just because he's a Jew. Just because he's a Jew. Or you know what? What about the, the Muslim prayer? The Muslim prayer, they pray five times a day. Al-Fatiha. Do you know what Al-Fatiha is about? It's about Christian, Christian, Jewio, uh, phobia. I, I, it's funny huh, the way I say it. They curse us in Al-Fatiha, chapter 1, verse number 7 in the Quran. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Don't make us the same as those who lost and those who they are cursed. The one is lost is the Christian, the one is cursed is the Jewish. So they have to insult us five times a day. And if you say to the Muslims, like, what is the first thing you do in the morning? He say, I recite Al-Fatiha, brother. So you have to insult me the first thing in the day. And if I say this is wrong, you call me Islamophobia? But the person who have to insult me five times a day in his prayer, he is not a Christophobia, he is not a Jewish phobia, he is not a Hindu phobia. What's happening to this world today? Or you know what? What about their God? Yeah, yeah, let us see their God. You know their God? He have a verse in the Quran, and the verse is saying the following. That Allah... He is going to spread hate between those who call themselves Christians. You see, Allah, He don't, He's not, He's not, uh, He's not working. He's, He's unemployed. Allah is unemployed. Allah is not working, and because of that, and based on that, Allah is going. To have a job, he want to keep himself busy. What is his job? He want to spread hate between the Christians. He want to string them with enmity and hatred between one to each other. See, Allah targeting the Christians, he want to spread hate. We cannot ask Allah why. Because simply if you do that, you have Islamophobia. You see, if you go in my book, there's nothing written about the Muslims and nothing written about anyone to hate anyone, anyone. We are older to love everyone. But if you open their book, their book is full of hate. But if you say hate is wrong, today, in this world today, the corrupted world, what is called politically correct, if you say to the wrong wrong, they call you phobia. Isn't it, isn't it, this is sick? Or you know what? What about in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 51? The same chapter. It says, you, you Muslims cannot take Christians and Jewish as friends. Why? What, 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 is, what is the reason? You see, this is Quran. This is Yusuf Ali translation. Oh, you believe, take not the Jewish and the Christians for your friends and protectors. They are but the friends and protectors to each other. You know, I wonder if I make a video saying to the Christians, you know what, Christians don't ever take Muslims as uh, friends. Uh, man, they will sue me. They will call you fascist. You will call you Nazi. They will call you all kind of names. But the Quran says to the Muslims, take not the Christians and Jewish as friends. It's okay. And in the top of that, if we say this is really bad, they will accuse you of Islamophobia. This is really weird. So what I'm trying to say to those who they are speaking about Islamophobia, I'm sick of you. Honestly, I'm really sick of you. Look, look, in Saudi Arabia, if a Christian die, eh, 
Christian, a human being. We die, right? We die like everybody. Don't tell me we don't die. We die. Please, come on. Liberals, let us die, okay? Okay. If a Christian, he die in Saudi Arabia, do you know that we are not allowed to bury him in the ground like everybody? You know what? A dog, if he die in Saudi Arabia, they bury him in the ground. A Christian, he is not allowed to be buried. Do you know that? Why a Christian cannot have little grave if he die in Saudi Arabia? Because he's dirty. Hello? Makes sense. We are dirty. I smell. You see? And if you say this is really discrimination, did you see Obama speak about it? Nobody. Did you see the United Nation? Nobody. The human right? Nobody. Why nobody is talking about that? What kind of government, what kind of country, what kind of religion would not allow the human being to be buried in the land just because of his religion? The whole Saudi Arabia, which is bigger than Europe, there is no enough space in that empty desert for a little Christian to be buried. Oh, you cannot do that because, you know what, if you put a Christian in this grave, oh, those Christians, they are going to visit the grave, they will pray over this dead man in this grave and that is not allowed in Saudi Arabia if you do that we will kill you and then we will put you in a box and send you an airplane in the cargo not even with the press passengers so even a dead man he cannot be buried for he is not a Muslim in Saudi Arabia but if you speak against that they will call you Islamophobia. Shut up. Don't talk about Islam. Hmm. Do you know in Saudi Arabia, if you take one line, just, just a little line from the Bible, like they, let us say they opened your diary, your book, you know, your phone book, like all these people, they used to carry phone book, and they found a, a sentence from the Bible, do you know that will cost you your life? Do you know that? I'm not going to say what will happen to you if they have a Bible, if you have a Bible on you, huh? But a little line in your phone book is going to cost you life. You cannot speak about that because if you do, this is called Islamophobia. You cannot speak about Muslims bombing churches everywhere. It's okay. It's okay. Muslims can do that, but we cannot do that, by the way, because simply we are loving Christians. Right? But even speaking against it will make you Islamophobia. Look, they are the one who kill you, the one who destroy your churches, the one who attack you, the one who insult your book, the one who pray five times a day, mentioning your name, cursing you, cursing the Jewish. They are the one who call us pigs and monkeys. Imagine, imagine if we have books, if I make a book right now, it says, Muslims are not a human, they are pigs. Do you know what will happen? Obama himself will apologize to the Muslims. Uh, you know, actually, we hire him for, there for, to apologize because he had nothing to do there except apologizing. Yeah, those American idiots, they hired the perfect man for the perfect job. We cannot speak against Islam because if you do that, you're Islamophobia. Let me tell you, liberal. Let me tell you all those who speak about Islamophobia. I am sick of you. Islam is sick the same as you are. And you will pay the price of this Islamophobia thing because one day you are the first one to pay if the Muslims take over your country you are the first one they will slaughter you are the first one who will be emulated do you know that in Islamic State an atheist he have no right to live Christian he have the right to live but he have to pay for the gang to live him alive an atheist no he will die as sure So for me, I prefer to be called all kind of those names for saying the truth. I will say that the God who says beat women is a filthy God. I don't want this God. This God, he don't belong to me. I don't belong to him. You want to call me Islamophobia? I have no problem with that. But I will never accept a God he teach violence against women. And then you say to me, 
If you speak against that, you are Islamophobia. Call me whatever you want. The one who beat women is an idiot. Is God said that? Your God said that? I don't care. And by the way, you see in the Muslim translation, they put there very funny things, by the way. Like as an example about beating women, in the Quran it says, وَضْرُبُوهُنَّ In the translation, there's word first. I don't know from where the word first came from. And there is the word next. And there is the word refuse to share with them the bed. That's why I say Muslim translation is a big fat lies. It says, lightly? Where in the Quran it says lightly? Where it says last? What a bunch of liars. It says, well, and beat them, and jail them in their room, not refuse to share bed with them, you idiot liar. A Muslim man, he have the right any time to rape his wife. Actually, there's a, there's a judge in New Jersey, he's an idiot, as usual, of those liberals. He judged that a Muslim man, he have the right to, judge, to rape his wife because this is his belief. You believe it? A judge in America, he is judging that raping a wife is okay? What a filthy liberal. I will say that the God who ordered the man to beat his wife until she obey him, he need to be beaten. If I see Allah, I will kick your ass. I don't care if you Muslims, you hate me or lie or not, if the liberals will call me Islamophobia or not, wrong is wrong and right is right. You like it, you don't, shut up. So. What I want to say clearly, that all of us guys, the one who stand for the truth, if you consider yourself a liberal, but you are against the filth, if you are against hate, if you are against violence, Islam is all of those. For me as a Christian, show me where Jesus, he said, go and kill your enemy or hate your enemy. He said to me, love them. Pray for those who curse you. Bless them. He did not say hate them. So all of this the Muslims are doing to us is not Christian phobia, is not a Jewish phobia, is not a Hindu phobia. You know, even, even a statue, it's just a statue, you know, like in Afghanistan they destroy it. It's a Buddha statue, why you destroy it? Is that a Buddha, a Buddha phobia? Nobody speak about the Buddha phobia the Muslims have. Nobody spoke about the Hindu phobia the Muslims have. Nobody spoke about anything. Oh, they have all kinds of phobia. Muslims, they, they make international call to ask if it's halal to buy a Christian underwear. Have you ever heard about a Christian underwear, for God's sake? They have a phobia. And then they accuse us of phobia. This is really ridiculous. It, you know, it's amazing. Halal food, halal shoes, even shoes halal, why you want to eat it? They are the one who have a phobia and then they try to turn it on you. So please guys, let us show the truth as it is. The one who have a real phobia is the Muslims. They are sick. They are angry from everything. They hate everyone. The Hindu, the Jewish, the Christians, the Buddhists, it doesn't matter, the atheist, the lesbian, the gay, everybody. So when somebody come and say to us, you have Islamophobia, shame on you, you are an idiot. With this, I finish my thought. God bless you all, and please, let us spread what they call Islamophobia, because it's very clear, Islamophobia means you say the truth, they call you Islamophobia. So let us say the truth, and the truth will set you free. As the Lord, he said, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. Amen. See you.